Good morning, everybody. I hope you all are having a lovely morning as I am here at Los Buzos Resort. It is our second day here in Paradise, Cambutal, Panama. And today we head out to a secluded area called Punta Blanca, where we are mother shipped four pangas and 12 kayaks. We enjoy a great day of fishing and learn tons of new techniques. After a fun day, we come back to the Rooster Bar and Grill to enjoy cold beverages and freshly caught fish. We're out here this morning for our second day. Yesterday was an awesome day. Everybody went out. We kind of had a little hands-on tutorial, hands-on training out there on the water. It was something totally different that I have ever experienced. And it was um, something amazing, you know. I love to fish. All these anglers out here, they love to fish. And I guess we all had a nice time. So hopefully today we will be going to some epic areas. They're going to mothership us out there, um, maybe about three miles or so or more and then we're going to be we're going to be fishing out there today like i said maybe today's going to be the day that we all catch something epic and uh knock off some fish from our uh, bucket list so it's going to be an amazing day i can feel it it's super calm right now it's super refreshing out here this morning it's not too hot and um do not forget to hit that subscribe button we just ate breakfast and uh, we just got ready officially ready to go they're gonna mother ship us there's three of us on the panga they're about to mother ship us uh, Oscar is right there getting ready to take us out about 20 minutes in so wish us the best of luck Come on, baby, come on. Come on.
Yellow kayak, green shirt, fish on. Sorry, what kind of kayak did you say, guys? Yellow kayak, I believe I have a Spanish mackerel. Ah, it's a Sierra mackerel, nice man, yeah, sick. Uh, we'll come get us on you. <laughs> Woo! Carp mouth. See? What are they? Yeah, that's a handsome fish. All right, everybody, so we just got back to Los Buzos, right here in uh, Cambuta, Panama. And um, I just caught a mackerel, but a lot of people out there, they caught some nice some nice snappers and, and some uh, rooster fish. Check out this snapper. Yellow snapper. That's a yellow snapper that, that was caught. And I caught... Corbina? I caught one of these. Sierra Macro. Sierra Macro. This is what I caught today. Uh, Sierra Macro, this one right here. Where did my barracuda go? No, barracuda. Ah, otro cooler. Where do, where the? Oh, it's back. still back there. And then, uh, that's, oh, that's this? Corvina. Corvina. Sí. That's a Corvina. I'm not sure what it is in English, but in Spanish, it's a Corvina. Oh, also. Corvina. Spanish Corvina. Corvina. English Corvina. Sí. ¿Qué más tenemos ahí? Uh, todo, ah, el, ¿Qué es ese? ¿Un Jack? Jack. Jack. Y... Jack Cabal. Sí. La, la, la. La, la. la Niña. La Niña. La Niña. Carnada. Yeah. La Niña. So that was uh, the catch, or the catches for today. They're going to um, fillet them, clean them up, cook them up real good for us for tonight. And uh, hopefully tomorrow is a better outcome. It's It was a tough day for myself. I know a lot of people did did catch some nice uh beautiful um snappers out there and some um rooster fish they caught some nice rooster fish out there um but yeah that was the end result of the fish that we brought so huge stay tuned there hey mark is there like a is that kind of like an alligator gar season down there or? alligator gar are you rolling videos no here, this is good content <laughs> <laughs> let's let's talk some fishing, right? <laughs> All right, um, alligator. Ask the question again. Hey, Mark. <laughs> That's good content too. Um, alligator gar season. They're asking me. There's a good season in South Texas. Alligator gar is best caught on the in the summertime. The hottest parts that you can get. Uh, May, June, and July. In May and June, they're spawning. So you'll get the bigger ones around that time. So May and June are the two months together. Yes. May and June. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> yeah, um, so we're enjoying some nice sashimi. Let me get a little video of the one over here. Check that out. Woo. Taste test, taste test. What do you think? What do you think? Good job. <laughs> Good stuff, everybody. Um, yeah, so gar, gar is best caught around summertime. Our summertime. So why is it best that little bit? Okay, during winter time you can still catch gar. Put over here. <laughs> during during winter time you can still catch gar, but they seem to um, they don't seem to be as active. They're like hibernating. You know, if it makes any sense. Is there a season in Texas for gar? You catch it. You can catch them year round, legally year round. It's one per person in Texas. The only place that has one an person per person in a day. In a day. Yeah. No minimum size, right? No minimum size. No that's maximum that's size. Dude, it's crazy. Now check this out. There, there's one lake. It's a state park in Texas that allows you to take five gar per day per person. That's Falcon Lake. That's where I'm from. It's about uh, an hour away from me. That's the only place in Texas that allows you to take five gar per person. They claim they've done like the Texas Parks and Wildlife. They've done surveys. You know, they they, they uh, catch a lot of these guards with units, and they open them up. They say that they mess with the game fish, your bass, crappie, and all that stuff. I think it's BS because Ooh. they don't find as much of game fish in their stomachs. Alligator gars are a native species, and those other ones aren't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. yeah. That's a little, um, little... When I was in Costa Rica, 
uh, fishing in the Cano Negro, um, I hooked two crocodiles, one in the back, and the other one I was using one of those big wood choppers with the props and stuff, and I hooked this guy in the mouth, and I had him right <laughs> up to the boat, and then I was going, what in the hell am I going to do with this thing? And luckily, he got off the hook. Because what are you going to do with a... It was, they were both about seven feet. Yeah, so I've caught alligator gar also. Or not alligator gar, I'm sorry. Alligators. alligators actual right. alligators. When you bring them to you, they'll start doing that death, death Yeah, that death row. And it's, it's not recommended to try to do anything like that. So it's best not to intentionally catch them. Sometimes you get them by accident, but don't try to intentionally catch them because you will not be prepared to to get that hook off of a man. It'll be a sad thing to leave that hook the, in there. The first one was on a, a, a crankbait that was under the surface and it was totally unintentional. The second <laughs> one was totally intentional. <laughs> so are you using like massive gear? I was using 80 pound test. For what? For alligator? No, for gar. I don't okay. care about alligators. <laughs> for gar. <laughs> Alright. For gar, we, we use, what I use is an 8,000 reel. A spinning reel. Uh, have you heard of a live liner? Okay, so you know how your spinning reel, if you want to loosen the drag, what do you do? You spin the knob. For a live liner, you have a secondary drag, which is a bottom lever, like a conventional reel. You push it down and your drag goes loose. The drag is adjustable for the top and the bottom. The top obviously is your knob. The bottom is another knob on the bottom. A bait runner. Live liner, live liner slash bait runner. So we use 8,000 bait runners. Reason why we do 8,000 bait runners is because that bait runner, it loosens your drag. When you bait out for alligator gar, you let him pick up the bait and he has to run like what we're doing out here, but we're letting them run for 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Where I'm from, you let the gar run for anywhere from a minute to 10 minutes. Really? Yes, because what gar do, they pick up the bait and they keep it on the tip of their mouth. They don't start swallowing it, the majority of them. They pick it up, and they put it in their mouth and they start swimming. Swimming where they feel comfortable enough to start swallowing that bait. It can take a minute, it can take 10 minutes. And so they start swallowing it. So you'll have a steady run. My way to tell, it, it, on the tip of the rod, you'll feel tapping. You'll feel a nice, smooth run. But when you start feeling tappings on your rod, it's giving me the impression, my imagination is telling me that he's swallowing it. And then when you feel jerks zzz, 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 on your line, I think he's shaking his head because he feels a hook. So that's where I sneak up on him and I push up my drag, my drag in the bottom, and it activates a top drag. So it's tight from one half of a second to the other, it tightens your line and you want to set that hook quick. You want to surprise them. Because by the time you start doing, like if you use a regular reel of spinning, by the time you do this, gar are smart. They start feeling all that activity, tension and everything. By that time they can spit out the hook. So you want to secretly just make the drag loose to tight on an instant and boom. And your, and your first hook set is your most important hook set. You want to make sure you give a solid hook set. After that, just pull and reel. Pull and reel. You basically gotta wait to make sure that the hook goes somewhere close to where it can actually go. All right, so we have another question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. So, I've uh, kept fish heads before that have like cool skulls and you basically cook the meat off and you bleach the skull. Did you keep the skull for the Same, same concept, brother. You can, they call it a gyro mount for like deer, right? Yes, They exactly. bleach the skull, yep. well you do it for gar. I have a guy back at home, what he does is uh, he'll either do two things. He'll boil the head like you would like a deer yeah. head and then you get all that meat off or you can bury it and let yeah. all the ants you know do yeah, its thing an anthill, the thing about a gar the thing about a gar is that the bones and all the pieces they kind of start falling apart separate, yeah. so this guy he goes piece by piece and he'll put it back together he'll glue it piece by piece and put it back together and i have a couple at my store a couple oh, of yeah. uh, uh, skull mounts of gar that was a good question yeah 
I, I only ask because I've done it before. So you could do it with a car, man. If you it, there you go. And I'm sure you'd be good at it, bro. I'm not. I don't have the patience. Yeah, I don't have the patience I, I, for that. I messed up a couple of other skulls. So <laughs> but you'll get it. I'm sure you will. I did it with the uh, with the sheep head. Yeah. California, oh, yeah. California sheep head. All right. So we just had some. So we just had some sashimi, and now we're having some ceviche. I believe the ceviche we're eating has some snapper. Uh, what was it? Corbina. Corbina. Cor Corbina. If y'all know what Corbina is, I believe no, it's not snapper. Corbina. 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 <laughs> um, I believe it's the snapper, right? The one I said, Corbina. It's similar to yeah, the wheat fish, or in the um, like the trout, the, the ocean trout. Family. Are those other trout-looking things that we caught? Yeah. There we go. The Corbina. No. So the Corbina. Oh, it's just silver. The Sierra mackerel has the spots. Yeah. The Sierra mackerel. That's the one of the. That's the one I caught today. The, the, they, there was two, I believe. I caught one of the mackerels, and there was those Corbina. Corvinas, um, those Corvinas, they kind of look like a trout back at home. I would say it looked like a whitey, but big. But they have fangs. Yeah. 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 They got vampire teeth. And then the parvo, which is, I believe it's snapper, so it's a combination of those three. And this is some ceviche that they just served us. Another appetizer after our sashimi. Do we know where it's at? You know I gotta have hot sauce with my food. And that's what it is. That is hot sauce. It's good stuff. I love it. Cheers, everybody. Let's do a taste test with the ceviche. Yesterday we had it. It was very delicious. So are you on YouTube? Right now I'm uh, doing a video for YouTube. So this will go on. You'll be, you're already on one of them. Yeah. When we went into the room, that's the one you're already on. Now you're gonna be on another one, so you can show your buddies. Did you get a picture of my therapy? Mm. Everyone kind of powered through it. Some killer fish came up. So we're gonna start with Nathan. Just the barracuda, right. man. That's all I got. Nathan Barracuda, not on the list. Not on the list. It should be I'm really. I'm over in two days. We're right? like one over. one square short. Barracuda should be on the list. Well, that's all right. So cool catch. Scratch off the list. It was you know better than getting scum like I did yesterday. Lee didn't die today, which was a miracle. <laughs> I thought today my butt fucker harder than it has <laughs> when I saw you behind that wave. You can't take me today on the list. Jack Ball for Lee. Jack Ball for Lee. And he didn't die. The real winner today. Did you die? He should have died, but he didn't. He should have died anyways. That's because he looks like Jesus. That might be real. He's, he's got God on his side. Hey, Sue. <laughs> Down here is no. Kentucky yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Vanita for Tom. That's it. That's it today. It's all right. That's all right. It's the most important square. If you were going to catch one, that's the one. Sierra Macro. Dude, I've heard it all day. Don't worry. Mike. I know one fish. I'm bad with names. Jack. The Jack of all. Stud. And a barracuda doesn't count. Jack of all on live bait. Barracuda doesn't count. Really nice Jack for Mike. On the live bait. So we're doing bingo everybody, we got a bet going on, and if you catch several species and you connect a straight line, either diagonal, up and down, side to side, you win a pot that we have going on. I have three species so far. And a Sierra mackerel, thank you for the sashimi. We appreciate that a whole lot. Travis, you got a couple of well. Giant rooster fish are branded, such a nice fish. And you get a free shot, fucking amazing. It's a rooster fish from our you already been buying yourself some shots, now you get a free one. <laughs> Wait till you're drunk and we give you that one. Wait till you're drunk. Anything else today? Too late. On the list? No. Too late. Yeah. That's all you need. That's all you need. Giant rooster. I got killer photos. Yeah, that's what's actually. I'll go get my, I'll show you man. Great photos. Um, you're in it though. Zach! I fucked up. Zach got a giant jack as well, jack. live bait, killer fish, well, and you got a I'm pretty sure in the rocks, couldn't get it out. 
Zach with a giant jack. Ilya! <laughs> Rooster fish for Ilya. First one of the day. I heard Robert doing this. Killer fish. Yeah, it might have been. That's fine. You got practice. You got the ladies tell me, anyways, it might as well have been. But you were done there. You got something else, right? Uh, not on the board. No. I got maybe I you got get a jack today? I did not get a jack today. I got that weird. Uh, oh oh yeah, uh, Ilya got a not world record grunt. That was yeah, one yeah. time, the one you got today, we got so excited about. Is that that journey? Maybe, that maybe? Yeah. we filmed the whole thing. This is oh, the yeah. world record, the leader. We nailed it in the whole thing, and they're like, wrong grunt, buddy. Not the right <laughs> grunt. <laughs> so when yours came in today, I was like, yeah, yeah. that's not yeah. that's not yeah. the yeah. one. Yeah. It was a but super cool though. catch on the XPS, dude. Yeah, they're super strong. It's a snapper. It's like a giant snapper. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. I thought yeah. it was a carp. Yeah, that the one it was that not like a carp. Like a black like drum? Uh, saltwater carp. It's like it is a mouth like a live drum. Yeah, yeah. Weird. <laughs> the the only, I think, I don't know if y'all heard, but the first day I was like, pretty much everything out of here has teeth besides like one or two fit. That was one of the two that doesn't have teeth. The main course is ready. Here we got fried fish going on, so let's see what we got over here. ¿Qué dijiste? Patacones. Patacones. ¿Qué es patacones? Es like es yeah, es plantain. Es pa uh, es plantain. Yeah. Plátano. Plátano frito. Sprite banana like how we had over there in the city. Very good stuff. Nice salad, veggies, fried fish. Gracias, oiga, muy amable. Good stuff, good stuff. It comes out. Eh? Alright, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> All right, everybody, so let's start. Let me tell y'all what we got on the plate. So we have fried plantains, like how uh, we had out there in Panama City. I said that the ones in Panama City were the best ones I've ever had. That was before I tried these right here at Los Buzos. These are very delicious okay. plantains. This is some fried fish. Fried fish, veggies, and salad. We're gonna chow, we're gonna eat. I'll catch y'all later.